Is it time for Crab Rave? Hey, yo, we got... <laughs> I don't want to say that name, but... But, but, Crab Rave. Alright. We have a lot of items. Wandering Trainer, I feel like, is a terrible idea here. Shock Treatment, I could always try it, but I don't think it's the play. Too Much Candy, that sounds really good. Too Much Candy sounds really good here, actually. Let's go Too Much Candy. Let's level up our Exalteds. That's what I wanted to do. Well, we have Zoe, but we're not doing that. We go... Shojin Nasher's here. I'm going to be tired of Crab Rave by the end of this game. Alright, so let's ditch that. We want these. We want to play the Malphite. Kabuko invites you to dance with him for Crab Rave? Perfect. We're actually going to get a gold drop? Wow, look at that. We're doing it. No, we didn't get a gold drop. Really? We don't get a gold drop for this? Alright, that's fine. We got three component anvils, though. Sheesh. Actually, though? Kinda nuts. Look at this. Wait, do we go... Yeah, okay. That's what we'll do. We'll do Bramble here, and then we'll do Gauntlet here. Very crazy start. F five completed items for the start. So, teams that can beat the Crab. We're definitely winning this fight. Teams that can beat the Crab. I'm thinking like... That's probably bad, honestly. I think Yone might be one of the only ones. Right? I feel like... Mmm... Alright, I'm already tired of it. I had six porcelain beaded earlier, which surprised me, really. Six porcelain. What was your sixth porcelain? I think if Lissandra has a gunblade, I think that that's good enough. I think that that's, that that's plenty. Sandra did have it. Need to check what you ran. Yeah, okay. No worries. You don't gotta worry about it, really. Just trying to think about stuff that can work, you know? I really want this sword, though, because that can go into Gunblade, or it can go into... Um, Gunblade, or it can go into 
Bloodthirster. Either one is super important for this. There's another Behemoth, by the way. Do we pre-level on this with our Exalted? I think we do. I think it makes sense to pre-level here. Like, sure, we could go for three stars, but it's like... Just go, just just use too much candy to our advantage and get as high of, of cost units as possible. Like my Ari has perfect has a perfect setup for early game. Did have a three star Alawi and a Mumu with Biss, which probably helps. Yeah, but like Biss sometimes just isn't enough, you know? For Crab Rave. This guy's building AP Senna. Somebody did not get the memo. Somebody did not get the memo. Alright, so then we play... I don't think we're going 5 Exalted this game. 5 Exalted this game seems like a trap. So I think we're just going to go more Behemoths. We could play more Faded, too. If we find another Faded, we could play 3 Faded. Can we get Faded to work with this? I mean, Omnivamp is only on set. So, I don't know. I don't know. This guy knows something I don't. Okay. Still, better positioning, better positioning. Oh my god, Ari really melts front lines if you can hit the AoE with her. Oh my god. That's crazy. With how fi with how full built that team was. Ari might be a little busted. Ari might be a tiny tad bit maybe a little bit busted. If we can get you know what we can do? I think we I think if we get Arcanists in. I think if we get a whole bunch of Arcanists, we might be able to blow it up. I think we might be able to blow up the crab. There's another Faded. Probably just sell that just for the sake of... Uh... Yeah. So Malphite's the one that's exalted. Malphite is the one that's exalted. We have another Shoujin for right now, but that's not really what we're looking to build with it. Hodge? Hodge is okay. I like Hodge. There's a Zoe. There's also Soraka, which is just a good unit. All right, well, there's my faded. Am I rolling here, or am I, or am I leveling first? I think I'm leveling first before I roll. Ash, okay. Sure. Annie. Hello. Um, I think we're I think we're gonna use Annie here, because Annie's a ridiculous frontline early. You know. Good stuff. Ari actually just cast that perfectly there too. I think we're dropping Behemoth. I think we'll go. Little Buddies seems really good here. Little Buddies seems super good here, actually. We run Exalted with, with Annie and Ash. Little Buddies, for sure. Yeah, so then we can actually... We can play Annie with this. We can play this guy again. But we want to put these items on Annie. And then... Ash gets a whole bunch of attack speed because we're running the other units here. And then we hold off on we hold off on rolling the rest of our rolls for right now too. I 
think this is I think this is just really good overall. We could even run like uh we could even do like gunblade on Ash. I feel like it doesn't work normally, but if you do like uh Rageblade Gunblade on her, I feel like it could be really good. And honestly, I'm kind of I kind of lost track of of uh, how many natural items we have. Yeah, I mean, I was bound to lose one eventually. I don't think we want to run invokers though. Sages? Sages have have Omnivamp. Maybe it is Dragonlord Sage. Dragonlord Sage. Hmm. So Sage has so Invoker Sage has these two. We also have Kogma that we can play. Okay. It's starting to formulate in my brain. It's starting to formulate a little bit in my brain. I don't think we want Arcanist. We'll keep the Ari for right now. But we'll probably end up switching this over to like... We could, we could switch it over to Lux actually. Lux is a better user of that. Lux is absolutely a better user of that. Okay. Two star three costs. Two star three costs. We're not really using three costs. Not really on the docket. I think we could do an adaptive helm though. Cootie, hey, what's up? It's been a little while since I've seen you around these parts. I think, what does a tier become? I think the tier becomes an adaptive helm. And actually we are running this girl. We're running the, uh, we're running her for Sage. Yeah, okay. Then we can drop the Exalted, even. Sure. I think it's time to drop Exalted. Cool, let's do it. So we have these two as our front line. We level up a little bit. And then we put in the other Arcanist. Yes. Sounds good to me. All right, ditch this, put all these items on her, and then we do Adaptive Helm here. Cool. Been suffering on set 10, I've barely played 11. I mean, it's fine. You don't, you don't, you don't gotta worry about playing set 10, or set 11. It's fine. You do you. But... Oh yeah, there's the Kog'Maw. We could do we could do that as well if we wanted to go for Invoker. So happy eleven is on PBE. I hated set ten for some reason. Really, really. So I think that set ten it just got old for me quick because um, because of the uh, because of the the bad patches. You know, the bad patches really made things tough on me. You know, I got tired of it kind of quick. Which was a little saddening to me. Enjoyed set 10 up until you dropped 200 LP and you went up 200 down, up 200 down 200, then another 200. Yeah, that's the way it be. That is the way it be. I get that. I do certainly get that, my friend. This guy's got a three-star Syndra because he has... Uh, oh, okay. He does not have too much candy or anything like that. I noticed I haven't seen Everything Must Go. Did they disable it today? I feel like they disabled it today. Or not today, but like maybe last time they patched.
Okay, so we're we're gonna level up. We're gonna put in we're gonna put in Invoker. Right? Is that the next best thing? Or maybe we just put in Heavenly for level eight and then level nine we'll put in the the, the other invokers instead. Because we're probably gonna drop a loon. Did your crutch augment binary get put back in? Binary R drop? Binary R drops in the game. Yeah. It's still around. Ooh, gold drop. Hello. Lots lots of gold drop. Okay. Level 8 at the start? Let's go. Got removed on PBE uh, due to a bug. Oh. I don't know if it's... I don't know if they put it back, but they definitely have intention to have it in the set. Your games earlier on Double Up is making me want to play it more, but it might be hard with randoms. Yeah. It's not worth it on with randoms. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. Double Up is not worth it with randoms. Ooh, that's right there. That is good. And we have the way. Hold on. Hold on. We have the way. And then who do we dupe? Annie? Yeah, we dupe Annie for sure. Sure. We don't have to worry about rolling all of it right now. We'll roll it. Just we don't have to worry about it right now. Oh my god! Azir just crit them to hell. Goodbye. Goodbye. We don't have the uh, the Diana in? Oh no, we do. The Janna. It's so hard to win. I think double up early can be f done with randoms, but Diamond Plus people start running the same comps over and over, so it's hard with randoms. Yeah. Yeah. I think we do. You have my sword. Maybe. Just to guarantee. No, I don't think we need to guarantee the sword. Ascension is okay. Keepers is okay. Know your enemy is okay. Uplink? Probably uplink. It's probably uplink. Best friends could be pretty okay, too. I'm kind of cool with best friends here. Yeah. Oh, there's an Annie. Nice. We also ran an we also got into another Annie there. Good. Nice. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to roll again. Do I take out one of my invokers? Who's my other invoker? No, I don't. I actually I don't think I've ever I'm ever running this Soraka, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. I don't think I am ever running my other Soraka. Yeah, no, I'm not. Honestly, I don't even know why I'm running this Nico. I should just run another Invoker. This Nico is not helping me at all. I should be running Lee Sin. Need to try to bully my friends into playing TFT? Show them my York video. Apparently that got a lot of people into the game. Offers to set you on a win streak or a loss streak. What? What? Am I honest? I think I'm already on a win streak like that, right? I'm pretty sure. I'm just gonna gain the gold. <laughs> I am already on a gold. I'm already on the win streak. Yeah. I'm I'm if I win one more time, I'm I'm already on that streak, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Alright, let's do where's my other invoker? This guy? Alright, let's do this. Invoker four. Probably worth. I think we roll until we are at twos. I think we do. There's Lee Sin as well. Alright, so let's let's wait until next round. Let's wait until next round. That's a really interesting one. I've never seen that one. Huh. This Azir, though, is going crazy. This Azir is going nuts. We have a stage and a half to try to find this Annie. Oh, am I one away? I'm one away from three-star uh, Diana. 
Maybe actually the play was to was to dupe her. Hmm. There's Zaya. We could do Rakan. We could do Rakan. Never mind. No, we can't. We need that sword. Never mind. We can't get it. <laughs> okay. All right. Neat. We go Redemption, I guess. We go Redemption. Sure, sure, sure. That with the augment that gives you a bonus for loose streaking late game could be crazy. There's a there's an augment like that. What's that one? All right, so we got down to the twos, but I think we keep going for the moment, and that's why we keep going for the moment. All right, there's Lisa. The power of a dragon. Y'all ever just have the power of a dragon? All right, let's do the redemption on on my on my girl here, because that's gonna be really good to have extra damage reduction there. This Azir is popping off though. Like, have you seen this guy's damage? He's going crazy. And we are printing Annie's right now. We're getting closer and closer. Also, only having a one-star Ash here, I'm probably switching out of Ash. Who do I do, though? Who do I do, though? I mean, I guess it's probably just go the six invoker, huh? That's probably what it is. All right, now we're on three. Now we're on three for our rerolls. I'm not doing it anymore. Maybe I just go Dragonlord instead. Never mind, I'm just crazy. That isn't a thing. <laughs> Trying to gaslight me. Don't you know this game is my thing? <laughs> Connor banned for gaslighting. Oh my god, we are so close to Annie 3, actually, though. Five Invoker. Who's our last one? Alune? Honestly, I'm super down just to do, like, Infinity Edge on, on Lilia. Gaslighting isn't real. Prove it. Prove that gaslighting isn't real. Crown Guard. Crown Guard's really good here, too, though. Can I get another component, please? Oh, there's my Aloon! Hell yeah, man! Alright. Here's the chance for the Annie. Ah, man. Okay. We go Crown Guard here, and then we go Infinity Edge here. Let's try to find that Annie. Come on, where's the Annie? Give me the Annie. I'm one away if we can just find it before uh, before we end up getting it with uh, with with this dude with the Tway. Please, oh, there's my two, there's my two stars here. Oh my God, big, huge, massive. I don't think that anyone else is really playing Annie though, right? See, because I'm, I'm thinking, like, three-star Annie, she heals a good amount, so maybe she can beat the crab. And honestly, like, if I if I don't beat the crab, I'm in such a healthy state, I don't think, I don't think that I need to really worry about the crab. It'd be cool to beat the crab, but I don't think it's necessary. We also have three mythic. That's something I didn't realize. They're all in my backliners, too. Can't prove it, just gotta trust? Sounds sus to me. 
Oh my god, there's the Annie. We just gotta wait for this guy to paint it. Let's go. Three star Annie? Here we go. Two rounds away. We did it. Oh man, this game is just so easy though. Like, wh why do we even play this game? It's so easy. <laughs> and then I can replace uh, the Huey with, with a Loon. And then we have six Invoker. Then I can put in the Elisa next round, next uh, level. And I found all these Annies before I even like went into the into the three crossed re rolls from Too Much Candy. That's great. That's awesome. Burr. Oh my God, he didn't burr. <gasps> no. Oh my God. Twenty four HP on a loon. Gaslighting isn't real, but that fight definitely wasn't. All right, there's my Elune. This, I honestly, I wish that I had like Invoker Crest because I wanted you to win that just to say IE diff. True. Honestly, the way that that went, that that went, it would have been a Vest diff if I played it. I could have probably played the Vest on the Kog'Maw and still won that. <laughs> I need a good Diana item or I need a good Lilia item. But we're going to get Invoker 6 after this round because we're about to hit our 3 star Annie. Boo -doo -doo. Boo -doo. All right, I got to I got a posture for hypeness so I can so I can post this as a as a short. All right. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Carousel first. Carousel first. Posture check. You got it, bud. <laughs> Porcelain emblem. That's You're a little late, bud. You're a little, little late. We need Nashers. GS, maybe? Shiv. Shiv is really important here. All right, here we go. Three star, Annie. Let's go. That's going to be a real big bear. That's going to be a real big bear. All right, so now we can replace the Huey. We can put in our six invoker. And then we can level to nine. And then put in our Lee Sin. There it goes. All right, big moves, big moves. Three star Annie. Let's see how she does. Here she goes. Here she goes. Big bear time. Oh, come on, Annie. There you go. She just has to do a little hop. Just a little hop. Boop. And then one more hop. And then a boop. <laughs> and then a boop. <laughs> now to see if she can murder the crab. You are so right. You are so right. We got to see if she can murder the crab. It's it's going to be tough though. It's going to be tough. Not not a lot of units can beat the crab. Sell board for 1v1 crab. The only unit that has ever been able to do that is Kiana. Kiana from last set. Bears eat shellfish, so it should be easy for her. <laughs> That's crazy. She, she, I love the little hops. It's just every time she wants to deal damage, it's just like, hop. <laughs> it's just like a little poop. <laughs> Come on, it's funny. That's funny. All right, 
here goes. It is time. Annie Three Star versus the Crab. All right. What do you think? What do you think? Honestly, this would have been a great time for a Twitch prediction. Let's see. Let's see. Annie Three versus the Crab. Come on, Annie. You can do it. She has built-in healing, so maybe she can. She's got her little hops. Hop. Actually, it looks like it's going to happen pretty handily, right? It ramps up pretty quick, though. Is she good? I think she's good. Annie 3 versus the crab? Yeah, I mean, she's... I, I think she's good. Cool. All right. Good to know. Annie 3 can beat the crab very easily. Good to know. Good job, Annie. Yeah, the HP pool and then the healing. Cool. All right. You know, I I didn't think I didn't think that it was that it was gonna happen, but it happened. Now it's time for three star Azir. How did Diana survive that though? Because I don't know. She's crazy. <laughs> She's crazy. They must have nerfed crabs or something. Must have nerfed the crab. Hodge maybe. Hodge on this girl. Even Shroud. Nah, I'm gonna go Hodge and then I'm gonna go another Crown Guard. Yeah. Yeah, and then we go Hodge here. Alright, so here's the plan. We are now going to go level 10. We're gonna go level 10 and we are going to use our too much candy rolls to find three stars here. He has ascended. Oh, he has his ear though. He has his ear though. I can't do it. This guy needs to die. Would be funny if a one-star Lissandra could... <laughs> Cilantra is what I was about to say. <laughs> one-star Cilantro. <laughs> I need this guy to die before this guy if I want to hit the three stars here. All right, but I mean, that's, that's the plan, right? We just got to hold as many of our five costs as possible. As many five costs as possible. Honestly, here's the pro play. You ready for this? You ready for this? Oh. Oh, he surrendered! Here's what we do. Here's what we do. We let this guy... It's the ghost. It's the ghost. I thought I was big-braining it. Where I was just gonna let him die. You know? I was, I was just gonna let him kill me for, for a moment. But now he has faith. Now he has faith that he wins. That's that's the play right there. He has the faith that he wins. Okay? Alright? Please don't surrender. Please don't surrender. Please don't do it. Please no. Three-star set, maybe? Three-star set, maybe? Do we do that? I feel like it's... I feel like it's a troll. I feel like it's a troll. I mean... Go for... I mean, we already have the three-star Annie, so, like, we could do literally whatever we want. Right? We just sell board and then go for... Then go for whatever other three-stars we have. He's level eight. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. It's not. It's not mean. It's PBE. Okay. It's not mean. It's PBE. Say it with me. It's not mean. They opted into this. I'm going to say, please, no FF. And then I'm going to hope and pray that he does not FF. And then I'm going to sell board. For whatever I can, for whatever I can find. Oh, now it's expensive again. Damn it, my my re rolls are too expensive now. Okay, the re rolls are expensive. Oh, you guys want to see something funny? You guys want to see what happens when when two when two sets bench each other? Here's what happens when two sets bench each other. Oh, they don't. 
Come on, bro. You'd FF for sure if you saw that. Well, you're mean. Alright, GG. Those of you watching on YouTube, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, follow my Twitch for more, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.